Hi, my name is Terry Pancook and I'm a board certified endodontist. Today we have a challenging retreatment molar case, very long roots, filled short, it wasn't filled very well previously. After performing an ideal access, finding all orifices, coronal enlargement, and then removing the bulk of the gutta percha, you can then perform this technique. What I like to do is flood the complete pulp chamber with chloroform, then place an endodontic activator, vibrate the fluid, and clear the fluid with the irrigation syringe with chloroform until the solution runs clear. When it runs clear, it means you've removed even more gutta percha, and then you can go in, perform recapitulations, and perform this trick again. You place the endo activator, you flood it with the chloroform, and you keep running it as you have your assistant place the endodontic suction tip on the distal portion of the crown, suctioning off the overflow as you basically inject a um, clear stream of the chloroform off the end. You can see with the pulp chamber completely flooded with the chloroform, it is now clear and you see no remnants of gutta percha whatsoever. It's okay to be liberal with chloroform irrigation. Um, you have the assistant there with the suction. She can suction any excess off immediately and the fumes. And it allows you to, as you, you know, inject the chloroform into the pulp chamber space, you can see that it's cleared. And you can see it's really nice and clean. Evacuating with a micro suction tip allows you to really dry the canal space, frost it, and look for any residual minute gutta percha fragments. And you can see in this case I found a middle mesial canal. And the isthmuses and ramifications seem to be very well cleared. Check out and like my Facebook fan page and I'll continue to provide you with these valuable clinical tips. Thank you.